contraction brings my baby one step closer to me. I trust my baby and our birth journey. Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. This is me, 11 days postpartum. Yeah, <sighs> I give God all the glory. Everything went well. So now I want to share basically, I want to share in details what actually happened during my delivery. You know, when the pains come up like this, you don't actually show what really it is that occurs during um, delivery vlog. So that's what I want to discuss in this video and also share with you guys what and what I did differently as a third time mother. Ha <laughs> ha yeah 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 <laughs> to come be the glory. <laughs> ah it still stands sounding strange. So what I did differently as a third time mother that helped to make the level go faster yeah so you know when you're counting the amount of level or the duration of a level you start from the active level that's when you reach 60 mm, when you reach 4 or 5 cm this is when you start counting your active level your active level duration so mine when i got to the hospital i was 6 cm and it took me only one hour I had my baby one hour 30 minutes to be specific so guys from my last video I mean before the delivery vlog I did mention that I'm going for a membrane sweep and in that video I gave details of what membrane sweep is so I did that membrane sweep on the 22nd of July 2022 and that was around 12.30 p.m. That Fridays are my atinetal days. So I did it during my atinetal. So it was done around 12.30 p.m. Then later during that same day, 9.30 p.m., I started having contraction. They were very, 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 they were just very light contraction. It wasn't something serious. Then along the line around 1:30 a.m., it started becoming intense, but was still very much bearable. Then the part I did not show in that delivery vlog was when my water broke. This is not something I've experienced with the other two children, so it was really new. So when my water broke around two to two, let's say it's two o'clock. I now had to wake my husband up. Oh yeah, that joke collection. Oh yeah, they were they were going to hospital. Then the contraction was very very intense, like unbearable. I couldn't walk. I could. I shot. I left my phone at that moment. Okay. Then when we now got to the hospital, they will check your vitals to check if your your baby's heartbeat is still beating, to check if your own BP is still normal so they checked my baby his heartbeat was sound and well and they also checked my bp and my bp rose to 180 over 100 so it was very high at that point at that time they started treating me like like with all emergency like the rush on me was too much one person was checking BP, one was giving me an, in, an, an one was fixing cannula. Yes, cannula is something they fix in your body to help give you injection, something like that. One was fixing cannula on my skin and there's an injection he, she was putting every 5-5 five, five seconds or 2-2 two, two seconds. Why one other person? <laughs> oh, it's a staring name. Why one other person was giving me injection on my two laps and the contraction was still going on? <laughs> Husband man could not video, okay, because ha <laughs> he don't fool him, buddy. <laughs> so that's the part I missed in that my bed uh, vlog. Yeah, I had BP during level, and this is something I've not experienced. This, if you have been following me up with the vlog pregnancy vlogs uh, you you will notice that i have been complaining of 
high blood pressure so this is pregnancy induced high blood pressure because on the normal i usually do not have high blood pressure so so 180 over 100 and we are doing a lot of things the contraction was coming per second without space this time around and immediately i got to the hospital they checked me and i was 60 m dilated that was two o'clock so around 3 30 ish i took them i want to pull they, they were busy coming the bp down and the baby was busy pushing out his head okay so i said i want to pull they said no please do not push yet you will tear your cervix but i was not pushing but baby was still you know forcing himself out baby was forcing himself out so before they could get their gloves and everything his head was already out they now helped to bring him out and that was it i give god all the glory that was my fastest and most painful labor yeah for my second it lasted two hours from active level my first it was six hours from active level okay so what did i do differently this time that i made the level fast okay i'm not going to give all the glory to myself no it's not possible so i give god i give god all the glory because our efforts is futile okay? it's futile <laughs> Is it full time? Our efforts are useless if God is not with us, okay? It's not about how much you've read or what you've done or what you've not done, okay? It's about God's mercy, favor, grace upon your life. Yeah, so I give God all the glory. So apart from that, what I did differently from my other two breaths is that I became very active in terms of exercise once i clock 38 because usually i know that my babies do like overstaying yeah so i stay squatting 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 i didn't really wait till when i got to 40 weeks to do that exercise because there are a lot of exercises you can find online that can help bring the baby's head down yeah like squatting there are lots if you touch on youtube you get to see it I literally binged on Bridget Tyler's video. Bridget Tyler, if you don't know Bridget Tyler, is uh she's a child child birth educator, something like that. Yeah. She educates a lot on childbearing, labor, delivery, pregnancy. Yeah. Her page was my dwelling class. All the YouTube, all the best classes I attended was from her, from her videos. Another thing I did differently this time around as a third time mother was hypno hypnobirthing. Hypnobirthing is just a way of relaxing your veins, um, relaxing yourself, trying to avoid anxiety, trying to avoid fear during level. Because once you have that anxiety or fear during level, you are fighting back nature. As Bridget Tyler would say, Bridget Tyler would say, your body as a woman was built to build. <laughs> it was built, your body as a woman was built to build. Built to build. Yeah. I give my birth over to God. Each surge brings my baby closer to being in my arms. So it will do what it's supposed to do naturally. You don't need to fight it. So that's why um, doing there's a clip. I didn't add to that my uh, delivery vlog. I lost it. So a clip whereby I downloaded um, some positive affirmation that will help you relax during level. Yeah. So what's that affirmation all about? It's just a very calm voice with calm music background. And the voice is telling you, very soon you get to see your baby you just have to keep breathing your baby will soon be here and your body is built to bed you don't need to force it 
you know, all those calm, positive affirmation. That is what I was listening throughout the le my, my level. Yes. So it helps. It really, really helps because unlike before, hmm, once I see any macram sign of level, I mean the hospital and the environment also matters. If you feel comfortable and if you don't have complications during your pregnancy, yeah, and if you feel comfortable to level at home till it becomes serious, as long as the water has not broken, please do it. So I was very comfortable in my own environment rather than the hospital. Yeah, and I was just at home from that night that day till 2, 2 a.m. He listening to my hypnobetting affirmations, yeah, positive affirmation. And I was also doing breathing exercise. You take it in. I don't forget them. <laughs> you take it in for like, is it four seconds? Like, count four, then you release it slowly while you're counting up to seven. That breathing exercise also helps. It helps. The, the, the purpose of all this is just for you to take off your mind. Take off your mind. That comes to distraction tactics. Okay? You take off your mind that something is happening to your body. Yes. Just take it off. Because the more you relax, the more you try to be comfortable, the more you take it as yes this is the process i will go through and within a short period of time i will have my bundle of joy that will help you that was what was written in my head i don't want to know how long it will take i don't want to take time i just want to take it one at a time as it comes okay so distracting myself i, I at a point i had to log into one of was it tiktok you know tiktok is a platform social media platform that once you log in, you must laugh. You must see impressive things that will make, take you off. The once the contraction hits you, you are back to normal. <laughs> you are back to reality. So that was another distraction tactic. And that thing I did differently was taking better positions. For my first and second, once labor does start, I don't lie down. So on that bed, you like this 10 cm. So... Um, after going through the bed classes, I realized that lying on the bed won't help the problem, okay? But if you still uh, feel comfortable, no problem. But when you are lying on the bed and you're lying at the, with your back, you are not permitting your pelvic bone to open up for your baby. Yeah, so you take up some better positions. I will attach the video if I remember like lying on fours. Pushing front, back, front, back, lying on your foster, your hand and your and your knees, pushing front, back. If you if you can sit on a betting ball, good. If you have a betting ball, you can sit while you sway your hips, left, right, center, sway your hips, and um, so many other betting positions you can research on YouTube. Because see, uh, I I I fear pain. <laughs> I don't have uh, what they call it to. I don't know how to endure pains, but I was just surprised God did it for me with all this knowledge I have acquired during the betting class. I just put everything together, boom, boom, and to be honest, I didn't feel pain till I didn't feel like serious, unbearable pain till 2 a.m. Yes, 2 a.m. was when. My head scattered. Seems the video is all over the place, but I know you guys are understanding. So, and another thing I did was walking. Yes, I stood up. I walked. I was walking in my pillow because the more you walk, the more you feel pains under your pelvic bone here. You feel pains like your baby's head is pushing your bladder. Yes. So I think that walking also helps to push. To bring the pressure, to bring baby's pressure down head. The baby is fighting to come out and you're also helping the baby to fight its way out. And not resisting or trying to pinch your body or trying to fight the pain. You cannot fight the pain. I noticed that the more you try to relax, the more the, 
the labor pain also did its thing. It was not also fighting you because I've always fought labor. Yes, it's not my first, it's the third. I have always fought labor. Like, once the labor hits like this, I will still be in 2CM, but I'm already shouting, I'm already screaming. So, these are the tips that helped me to have that one hour labor um, duration. Yeah, and I hope it will also help you that is going through it, that I will soon go through it, okay? The key there is relaxing yourself, okay? If you want to know more about this hypnobirthing as in a very detailed video, I might be making it. And if you still want to know more about it, please hit the thumb, hit hit the what what they call thumbs up, okay? Because the more thumbs up I get, it's okay. That means people people who want this kind of video, I might make a detailed video on hypno. Person, oh, goodness me! I thank God that <laughs> I thank God for opening my eyes towards this hypno betting man. All this why I've been fighting level and it has been traumatic. But this level was my most positive level, the most fastest and the most painful. Yeah, I think why it was that painful is because my water broke. Yeah, because the water, the amniotic fluid. That protects the baby cells as pillow during, during contraction okay so you don't get to feel the level of pain too serious but once it's broken the pain is at times dead okay and the level is also very very fast so i wish you all the best you are an expectant mother here safe delivery to you if you are trying to conceive very soon you get to hear your good news yes and you carry your baby to 10. I wish you all the best. I'll be signing out here. I'll see you guys in my next video, okay? Remember to join the what they call it? join the family by clicking on the red subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up, okay? I know you've picked one or two things, okay? Let me all right, all right, all right, take it. Bye-bye.